And that's the last section of the book, suture suspension. There's two main ones I do. When a patient, I don't believe in bidirectionals that aren't fixed. I think they're garbage and a waste of time. But if you tie this down to the craniofacial skeleton and lift, you get something out of it. Women come in and say, Dr. Mulholland, I want this. They want an upper face lift. Or they come and say, Dr. Mulholland, I want that. And that's a neck lift. Those are the only two types of lift I do now. Suture suspension, tough lifting, or bimastoid um, hyoid suspension. Super easy, anybody can do this. If you can use your hands, you're a bit dexterous, you put in IVs or your physician or a PA or an injector, you could do this. And so these are the two that I use. A temporal tough lift if they want this, which is what Lisa wants. If they got a lot of sloppiness going under to the neck, I do a hyoid suspension and lift to the mastoid, a bimastoid lift. And I talk about those two in the book and how you do them. They're very, very simple to do. Now, rather than come through the slit, I let this uh, tuopedio stay about a centimeter away, right here. And I grab onto a lot of tissue, and I leave it outside the slit to heal on its own. So I'm way away from the slit there, and I'm going to let that just go away on its own. And I thought this might become a problem. It doesn't. In six weeks, a pedo loses 50% of its tensile load at 12 weeks, to 24 weeks is gone, and this never runs into a problem. And so now I back this back up my, my injection 18 gauge, and think about it now. I'm gonna go through what's, what's happened here, because you're going, what the hell has he done? Okay, let's pull out our choke car. Now, we have created an injection suspension left where we got two limbs of our PDO attached. Zoom in on this if you want to. Zoom in on this. All the barbs are facing towards this little guy down here and all the barbs are facing this way, thousands of them, and as I pull and let go, they all kick in. Like your mountain climb, you got those little spikes that kick in. I can only tell you that that little bridge of PDO, never, I've not yet had a cellulitis, and it um, keeps that bridge so it doesn't cheese wire during the stressful period of times when she opens her mouth, and, um, and the slit is where the PDO lives, both of them closed at the top of her parietal scalp up here. Now, during the post-op phase with the suture suspension lift, zoom out a bit so we see the whole face now, just a bit. There we go, a bit more, there we go. Um, she'll be more um, demure, closed mouth, chewing, small morsels, no big bite into an apple kind of open temporal mandibular joint moves. Um, a topical uh, ointment, like uh, keep it really, really simple, Aquaphor. If you have a particular skincare product you use and they have um, post-healing copper, zinc, peptide type of uh, products, that's fine too, but keep it simple. Topical, it's quite dry. She's quite fractionated, but she's gonna get epidermal uh, rejuvenation very quickly. And the swelling will come down over that first uh, five, six, seven days. She could not go back to work with this, of course. I tell them, you know, take a week off. After a week, she'll look reasonable, little makeup, uh, foundation, and uh, after one week. We talked about pricing. This cost us, let's say, $2,500 all in, and you wanna charge something over and above that and we're gonna talk about pricing today. And so she's gonna look great, but she's gonna need maintenance. The maintenance will be Botox three times a year, filler once a year, some type of RF bulk heating every time she does Botox, like the Forma or the Evoke, IPL photofacial every time she comes in every three, four months, and then a suture suspension every three to five years, and an aggressive either Accutite or Morpheus every three to five years, okay? A non-aggressive Morpheus can be once every four months with lower settings and keeping that collagen. You want to keep the collagen matrix engaged. Um, you want to keep it tight, keep things firm. Okay, so I'm going to hand this wrap back to Sharon. Sharon's going to whisk her off again. Lisa, thank you for donating your face to medical science. Thank you very much.